Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you the story of The Wedding of Q and You. This is written by Denise Dillon Reha, illustrated by Sherry Matthews. Now, if you watched my other video, I read a story called Congratulations Q and You, and the two stories are very similar. They basically follow the friendship and love of the letters Q and U, and how they never like to be apart, that the best sound they make is together. But listen to the story, watch the other video as well from the other day, and see if you can spot some differences. Compare and contrast. See if you can find out or figure out what things are the same about the two books and what things are different about the two books. Okay, let's go. The Wedding of Q and You. This is the front cover, back cover. This is the spine. If we open it up, we have the title page. This is a very long dedication page. And then our story begins. One warm sunny day in Syllable City, the letter Q was walking along Alphabet Avenue with some other letter friends. Her letter friends joined together to make some words. They left Q out because the sound her letter made just did not fit into their words. She was sad. They're making the word, the words, T-O-P-S, T-A-P-S, tops. And then they rearranged and made a new word, P-A-T-S, pots. Same letters, just moved around. Q did not like feeling sad and lonely, and she walked away feeling quite blue, even though her friends tried to make her... Up. Stop. You see how she changed colors? Now she's blue. Just as she was walking home along Punctuation Place, Q had a brilliant idea that made her smile. She decided that she needed a lifetime partner. This partner would have to be someone who would never leave her feeling lonely. But who would it be? Q thought and thought and thought. She had a question. She was being quiet while she thought. Hmm. She dreamed and dreamed and dreamed. At last, Q figured out exactly which letter she would ask to be her partner. She was so excited. Look at her eating her alphabet soup. What letter is she scooping up? That's right, U. She was on her way to see the letter Q, who lived in Vowel Valley. Right, what are our five vowels? That's right, A-E-I-O-U. You see, Q liked the other 24 letters of the alphabet, but the letter U was her favorite. So she asked you to be her partner. You was so flatter, flattered that Q asked if he would be her partner. They spent so much time together that they became inseparable, meaning you could not separate them. So whenever Q, wherever Q went, so did you. That looks a little scary on the cliff there. The two letters decided to get married right away. They decided to do that quick, quick. That way, whenever Q was going to be the first letter in a word, you would follow along to make their words really quick. Together, their sound would be unique. Letters from Reader's Road would remember how to read their words. Letters from Speller's Circle would remember how to spell their words. The day of the wedding, all the letters, spellers, and readers were invited to the ceremony. It was a big celebration. Oh, don't they look happy? Okay. 
The letter Q said her vows first. She said, I, the letter Q, take you, the letter U, to be my letter partner, to stand beside me in every word, in cursive or in manuscript, one syllable or five, to, let another, to never let another letter stand between us. I promise to lead you in each word so that all our friends may be spelled, so that all our words may be spelled correctly for as long as the English language shall exist. Nice, let's see what U has to say. Then the letter U said his vows. He promised, how dapper. I, the letter U, take you, the letter Q, to be my letter partner, to stand beside me in every word, in cursive or in manuscript, one syllable or five, to never let another letter stand between us. I promise to follow you in each word, so that all our words may be spelled correctly, for as long as the English language shall exist. After saying their vows and exchanging rings, the mayor of Syllable City pronounced the letter's official letter partners. From that day on, Q and U were to be at the beginning of many important words. That is why when you see a word that begins with Q, the letter U will be sure to follow. And they gave us a bunch of words to look at. So, let's see. We have quail, it's a kind of bird. Wait, yeah. Quadruplets, Quaker, Quart of milk, a quartet, a quarterback, a quarter. Someone who's feeling sick, they might be feeling queasy, a queen. Oh, he is quenching his thirst. Question, quicksand, a quill, an old fashioned pen with a feather, made of a feather, and someone who's being quiet. I believe there's more. Let's just double check. Yep. Quilt. Quintuplets, quiver, quiz, it's a small test. This is a, a quotient. A quotient is a math problem, or it's the answer to a math problem. And these are quotation marks. When you see these marks in writing, that means that the words are exactly what the person is saying. Boys and girls, thank you so much for reading with me today. And remember, you're thinking about the difference between this story, the wedding of Q and U, and congratulations, Q and U. Bye.